We asked the public how the pandemic has affected their mental health. I, I really think it's a very important topic and I've suffered with poor mental health over lockdown but I do not know how people have coped who have had depression and stuff over lockdown. I just had anxiety. The pandemic has definitely had a negative effect on people, uh, their mental, uh, mental health wise, because it's it really just upturned everybody's lives. People with disabilities especially find it really hard and it really took a toll on their mental health. I think the first lockdown really affected my mental health because I couldn't go out to my club, I couldn't train. Really I was just restricted to the farm and at that point there wasn't much farming going on so I got kind of just bored and fed up in the house. With living on my own I find Covid very difficult to deal with. It's, I think it's being lonely and isolated and there's nothing on to go to. Uh, I come down here in most days and sit but then sometimes weather permitting, like last week, it wasn't possible. So I just found it difficult enough. I spent time on the telephone, watching TV, but that gets monotonous too. Pandemic has been a very stressful time and it has led to some anxiety. But yeah. I'm working through it and hopefully I will get better. There will be many people still suffering with anxiety, depression and mental health poor mental health issues, but we've built up the tools and the resilience to, to, to know maybe where, where to go if we need help or speak, so therefore you could discuss problems and t talk things through. There, of course there is support in schools, but I don't really feel like there there is enough, especially with you know the scale of how long we have been alone and you know staring at a screen for school that's our you know that's our education so from schools the youth um it needs to be um, a part of the curriculum it needs to be seen throughout the whole school environment we have to create conversations and that sh nobody should be you know uh, frowned upon um for saying that they feel mentally unwell I think really support people's mental health, including mine, would just be more awareness because we are sort of coming into that now. Now there are awareness courses like the one we were on. We had that mental health day on Monday, but it's still very stigmatised in this country. So it just needs to build awareness and in the positive ways, not just mention the negatives about depression. So actually bring the positives of mental health into it. If you have a problem in any shape or form, I think you should talk about it, even if it could sound like the silliest thing. As soon as it's out. It, it, it's the best feeling in the world. Love from Caitlin and Neve.